Oh, once there was a wicked, wicked man, and Haman was his name, sir. He lied and lied about the Jews, but they were not to blame, sir. Oh, today will merry, merry be. Oh, today will merry, merry be. Oh, today will merry, merry be. And now some harm in Tarshish. And Esther was the lovely queen of King Ahasuerus. When Haman said he'd squelch us all, oh my, how he did scare us. Oh, today we'll merry, merry be. Oh, today we'll merry, merry be. Oh, today we'll merry, merry be. And not some harm in Tarshish. But Mordechai, her cousin bold, said, what a dreadful villain. If we don't act at once, my dear, our life's not worth a shilling. Oh, today we'll merry, merry be. Oh, today we'll merry, merry be. Oh, today we'll merry, merry be. And not some harm in Tarshish. When Esther, speaking to the king of Haman, Plot made mention. Ha ha, he said. Oh no, he won't. I'll spoil his bad intention. Oh, today we'll marry, marry be. Oh, today we'll marry, marry be. Oh, today we'll marry, marry be. And not some harm in Tarshan. And so my friend came to an end. This clever Mr. Smarty. For he became a wiser man at Esther's little party. Oh, today we'll marry, marry be. Oh, today we'll marry, marry be. Oh, today we'll marry, marry be. And not some harm in Tarshan. Chag Sameach, happy Purim, everyone. Holiday of Purim is a time when we celebrate the physical survival of our people. And we do so by getting all dressed up and putting on masks to hide our identity. Over these last many months, we're all wearing these masks, not so much to hide our identities as it is to protect ourselves and each other from this terrible pandemic, which is causing such problems for us in our community. We wear these masks to protect us physically. But the masks on Purim are about protecting us spiritually. Because when we hide ourselves from the reality of the world that we see around us from the persecution of the Persians or whatever it is that assails us, there's a sense that we want to pretend that we're somewhere or something else. And so on Purim, we take a moment in history that was incredibly serious and dangerous. And we make light of it and we laugh and we get dressed up and we have silly time and we sing because we want to reclaim that sense of life that was taken from us, to find the joy and the light even in the midst of the darkness. And this year on Purim is no different. It's a serious time. And there are serious challenges to us as a people, to us as a country and a society. But tonight on Purim, we will take off our masks and fill our souls and our hearts with joy to laugh and to celebrate the gift of life itself. And so let us embark on this wonderful celebration of Jewish life and survival and perseverance. Chag Purim Sameach. May we all have a happy and joyous Purim. Chag Purim, Chag Purim, Chag Purim, Masechot Rashanim, Smirot Rikudim. Have a rush, 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 rush. Have a rush, 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 rush. Have a rush, 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 rush. Baruch Hashanim. Pour on day, pour on day. It's a happy holiday. We make noise with our toys, sing and dance and play. Let's hear the Broggers rush, rush, rush. Let's hear the Broggers rush, rush, rush when they say amen. When you hear 
thievery. It is a story of deception and defeat. It is a story of victory. It happened on the 14th of Adar. When? It happened on the 14th of Adar. When you hear the home and you will get a photo fill up and you won't have to sit still when you hold a gilla. Listen to the tale of Vashti and Esther. Listen to the tale of Cousin Mordecai. Listen to the tale of Ahasuerus. It happened on the 14th of Adar. When? It happened on the 14th of Adar. When you hear the whole big you will get a poor fill and you won't have to sit still when you hold the gilla. Hear the name of Haman, stamp your feet. Spin your grog around. Hear the name of Haman, blot it out. It happened on the 14th of Adar. When? It happened on the 14th of Adar. When you hear the old Megillah, you will get a poor thriller, and you won't have to sit still when you hear the I remember growing up, my mom used to get frustrated and she would talk about a drama going on in life and she'd say, oh, he's such a Megillah. A Megillah is not just a long, complicated story like the book of Esther. A Megillah is a scroll. It is a scroll that, like the Torah scroll, tells the story of some aspect of our relationship with God and God's relationship with us. In this scroll, in this Megillah, in this beautiful silver case, is the story of the book of Esther. And so let us turn now to the mitzvah of Purim and here chanted these words of Migilat Esther. Baruch atah Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav V'tzivanu al mikron Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam She'asa nisim lavoteinu Bayamim ahem bazman hazeh Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech Shechianu vekiemanu vehigianu lazman hazeh Vayehihi bimei achashvei rosh Hu hu achashvei rosh Hamolech mehodu vakush Sheheva vesrimu meaha medinaha by a mehim ha hem, Keshevet, Ha melech achashve rosh, Al kise malchuto, Asher beshushan habira, Bishnat shalosh le malcho, Asa mishte, Le chosara vavadav, Heel paras madai, Ha partamim. Vesare hamdinot lefanav, 
ואירותו, את אושר כבוד מלכותו, ואת עיקר תפארת גדולתו, ימים רבים, שמונים ומאות יום. When I was growing up, Zoom was this great television program for kids on PBS. And then years ago, I got introduced to this thing called Zoom when I started having remote learning through my studies at the Hartman Institute so I could gather virtually with people literally all across the world for a period of study at the same time. Who knew that Zoom would become so much a part of our everyday lives? It is, in many ways, our portal into the world. But tonight, Zoom is not just going to be a portal into our world, it's going to be a portal into the world of Ahasuerus and Mordechai, Esther and Haman, and the land of Shushan. Once upon a time, in the land of Zoomshan, there was a pandemic, which meant that everyone had to be online and not in person, just to stay in the land. The King Ahasuerus loved dancing and so thought to have a Zoom dance party. He told his wife Vashti to dance for everyone without touching up her appearance and no filters if you know what I mean. Thank you, my friends, for joining me at my Zoom dance party, where we will be entertained by my beautiful wife, Queen Vashti, who will dance without touching up her appearance and without filters, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, King, do you think we could go into a breakout room, just you and me, for a minute? Vashti, everyone is here. They're unmuted. They're waiting for you to dance. King, breakout room one, now! Vashti, you don't get to order me around. I'm the king. Now, I've allowed you to order all kinds of things in this pandemic. Shushan Cart delivers your groceries. I got you a Persian Peloton, daytime pajamas from the Amazon, midnight deliveries from Delivery Chews. I've eaten so much sourdough bread from your sourdough starter kit. All I want you to do is dance for crying out loud. King, I appreciate all of the amenities you've offered me during this pandemic. But I'm the queen. I'm keeping my filters on and touching up my appearance at all times. Vashti, you are being ridiculous. What's ridiculous is you treating me like a piece of schnitzel. I won't let you exploit this body of mine. I'm leaving this palace. Fine, Vashti. Take your mask and get out of here. No problem. You treat me worse than any pandemic out there. I'm going on vacation. I mean to find a vaccination. You say you 
You want me to dance with no filters? Well, there's no chance. You cry, well, you can't get your way, and so now you want me to pay with my life, which you hurled here in Zoom. So now I'm in the waiting room, and I'm mad. Remember, we made an arrangement when we said I do. I won't be back. Soon you'll see. You'll regret what you have done to me. I won't be back. Time will tell. You'll remember that I served you well. Internet fails. Wi-Fi dies. You have proven that you're not wise. And when push comes to shove, I am out of here. You're not a king who is worthy of my love. Ya da 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 da, ya da 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 da, ya da ya da 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 da, ya da ya da 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 da, ya da 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 ya da 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 da. I'm logging on. Now I'm a king without a queen. So lonely. I'm so bored. Ah, I know what to do. I'm going to put an ad in the Zoomshan Sentinel for a new queen. Wait, I'll share a document. All I want is a dancing queen with no filters so she'll be seen with two enormous Oh, wouldn't she be lovely? She'll make meals for me to eat, follow orders and never cheat. Warm face, warm hands, warm Oh, wouldn't she be lovely? Oh, so lovely dancing for my friends. They'll get their fill. They would Never budge till spring crept over their windowsill. Someone's head resting on my warm and tender as she can be. Who takes good care of me? Oh, wouldn't she be lovely, 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 lovely? Oh, wouldn't she be lovely? She'll have to quarantine for two weeks and take a PCR test, but it'll be worth the wait. The next morning, Mordecai saw the king's ad in the Zoom Shan Sentinel and thought immediately about his cousin Esther who he thought would be the perfect queen. Hmm, this ad, the king is looking for a queen. I think I need to show this to Esther. It says, looking for my queen, must look good with no filters. I'm a lovable monarch with a love of dancing, social media influencer, a plus. I'm always looking for a collab. All social distancing precautions will be taken Call 1-800-HOT-KING for all the details. I'm going to invite my dear cousin Esther to Zoom this ad. Hi, cousin Mordechai. So glad we can Zoom in these crazy Zoomshan pandemic times. How are you? M Morty, you're on mute. Morty, Morty. You're on mute. Go, go to the audio settings on the bottom left corner in the microphone icon and click on it and, and unmute yourself so I can hear you. Esther, stop screaming. I'm not deaf. Esther, I'm still learning the ropes of this Verstunkenos Zoom. I never thought after Pesach last year that we'd still be on Zoom. Ay, this newfangled stuff, how I miss my Jerusalem days. Life was so much simpler then. Actually, now that I think about it, it wasn't always so simple. This war, that enemy, 
and they charge an arm and a leg for good falafel. I hear you. I'm missing our old life too. I'm especially missing going on dates and, and meeting matches on J-Date and Zoom on Tinder. I'm watching all these makeup tutorials on Chick Chock. I mean, I look marvelous and I have nowhere to go. When I was young, I never needed anyone. And Babylon was so much fun. Those days are done. Now I'm on Zoom, and my friends aren't in the room. We can't be together now. No dates, no how. Come here, Pookie. I miss them all, don't you? All by myself, don't want to be all by Can't get a shot. I'm too young for that. All by myself. It's a bore. Can't find a man. So bored I'm eating from a can. And love so distant and obscure. Where is the cure? You don't even talk back to me, do you? All by myself, don't want to be all by myself anymore. This lonely room, it feels like a tomb. All by myself, I want more. That's exactly why I'm calling, Bubbala. Listen to this ad in the Zoom Shan Sentinel. Looking for my queen. Must look good with no filters. I'm a lovable monarch with a love of dancing. Social media influencer a plus. I'm always looking for a collab. All social distancing precautions will be taken. Call 1-800-HOT-KING for all the details. Cousin Morty, what are you saying? Here's what I'm saying, Esther. You are the most beautiful woman in all of Zoomshan. Filters or no filters, I think you could be the new queen. So Esther watched a few more makeup tutorials and dance tutorials on YouTube and Chip Chalk. And Esther did her hair and put on her prettiest mask. And because she's a smart woman, she changed her Instagram hashtag to hashtag queen to be. Hello, and who might you be? Your Highness, I'm Esther, your hashtag queen to be. Yamahama, you are quite fetching, my dear. And wait, wait, no filters? No, Your Highness. This is all me in my own natural digital glory. Wow, I never thought I believed in love at first sight, but I do believe in love at first Zoom. Esther, you're amazing. Will you be my new queen? Yes, my love, yes.
from a distance my screen looked drab and blue and I didn't have a clue from a distance I joined a Zoom room ball and now we have it all from a distance we found harmony it will echo through zoom land you will dance for me i will be your queen it's the dream of every man and nobody's watching us we have a private Zoom. So let's get busy <laughs> from a distance. Meanwhile, just as the king is falling for the Jewish Esther, his highest courtier, Haman, <laughs> was hatching a different plan. Haman <laughs> was miffed by what happened between him and Mordechai. Mordechai, you are Zooming with the king's highest courtier. You must bow down to me. I will not. Sir Haman, I am a Jew, and we Jews bow to no human. Haman, only to God. Our king has vested in me the right to make all people bow down before me. If you, Mordechai, will not bow down, and neither will your people, then you may not continue to live in Zumshan. This, Mordechai, will be the end of you. My name is Heyman, and I have a plan. If it doesn't scare you, then nothing else can to somehow kill the Jews from this Zoom room. I'm Heyman, and I am a dumb man. The Jews should bow down like I have a crown. But Mordechai won't bow, he'd better leave town. I'm like a spider waiting for the kill. Look out, cuz I'm Haman, the man. Mordechai went to warn Queen Esther, but he could not get in from the waiting room. She must have forgotten to check the participant list. So Mordechai sent her a text to let him in. Esther invited the king to a socially distant banquet for him and Haman. <laughs> Outside in the courtyard, of course. That night, the king couldn't sleep, so he binge watched four seasons of The Crown. Those characters were the only people he could relate to. But even that wasn't enough. So he opened his iPad and started doom scrolling through the big Twitter feed of record. There he saw that at Mordechai Ben Yair had saved the king's life. So the king went to Haman. 
wanting to honor this man who had saved his life. Haman! Yes, your highness? Haman! The king wishes to honor someone very important. Someone who has served the king and the kingdom loyally and righteously. He must be talking about me. Well, your highness, that seems like a mighty fine plan. But what should we do to honor this man? For the king to honor this man, we should let him ride the virtual royal horse, wearing the virtual royal clothes, with a virtual royal crown on his head. Very good. Yes, yes, very good. Well then, Haman, get the real royal horse, the real royal clothes, and the real royal crown, and bring them to Mordechai the Jew at once. Yes, your highness. While Haman dresses Mordechai in the royal garb, Esther throws a banquet to which Haman and the king are invited. Esther, my queen, to what do I owe this honor? Well, my king, you have shown me so much love since you have taken me as your queen. I wish to show you that love in return. Oh, yeah? Are you talking about virtual love or real okay. love? <laughs> but alas, my people have been threatened with banishment and death here in Zumshan. Your people? Death? Yes, your highness. Your highest courtier, Haman, <laughs> told my cousin Mordecai that he and all the Jews of Zumshan were to be destroyed. I, too, am a Jew of Zumshan. So if you go through with this plan, you will never see me again. What? Fetch me, Haman. <laughs> At once. Hang on a minute, King. Just finishing up here. <laughs> Your Highness? Haman, no! my queen tells me that you have threatened her and her people with mortal consequence. Your Highness, you empowered me to make all who live in Zumshaun bow down before me, and Mordechai and his people refused to do so. What choice do I have? I don't care about your choice, Haman. <laughs> you have left me with no choice. You are condemned to dial up internet access with two bars or less. And you must remain on mute for all eternity. And if you can't behave, I'm taking your phone away. There, Esther. With Haman on mute forever, you and your people can live in peace. And you and I, well, we can enjoy some private messages together. Our Zoom room spiel is done now. Esther has saved the world. We'll be back, time will tell, and 
and you'll schmooze with your friends at Bethel. The vaccine is underway, thanks to everyone who saved the day. Just a little bit more time, we can hug and kiss and not wear masks, and everyone will be just fine. Da -da 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 -da. Happy Purim! Happy Purim! Happy Purim! Happy Purim! Happy Purim! I just want to wish everybody a very, very happy Purim. Many, many thanks to all of our wonderful actors and our castmates and all of our production crew who have helped to make our Purim spiel and celebration this year such an incredibly special. We hope you enjoyed your Mishloach Manot bags and your Hamantash. There are no calories on Purim. And if you gave yourself an extra special drink of what you have at your home bar, all the better. And we wish everybody a wonderful, wonderful, safe, healthy holiday. But I have to ask you, what am I gonna do with all of this stuff?